This was by far my favorite chapter of this arc. I always had a feeling Fu was gonna look sick when he used his ability, but Jesus Christ. This was, Jesus Christ. This was one of the coolest Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde moments we've had in manga per se. I, I, I gotta make sure I add that in there. But there was also a very, very, very subtle hint of sadness sprinkled in. To be honest, most of this chapter was focused on Fu and he. Like I said in the previous chapter, let me know if it's high or heat, but don't let that distract you away from the fact that Zodil has something up his sleeve, bro. Did y'all also notice that there was no sighting of Kuro because of how far ahead he was? Not that I'm worried or anything, but it's something to keep an eye on as we progress. It is also seeming like chapter 100 is going to not only be the climax of this scenario, right? But it's also gonna be the place where we get the anime announcement. I'm just saying, just saying, and I, am here for it. As y'all know, man, I'm Damo Senpai, and we are here with chapter 98 of Gachi Akita. And if y'all are new and enjoying all the content I provide on this channel, man, don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot of time to make up for it, and that is going to be spent discussing all things Gachi Akita and all things Kagarabachi and Hill. I even have other things lined up that aren't any of these two. So yeah, the summer of Damo Senpai is here, and we are going to go all in on getting to 10K by the end of the summer. So if you have any ideas you would like to pitch, leave them down below. I'm trying to go insanely hard and make sure I have a video for almost every day of the summer for you guys. So keep me in your prayers, man. So since we got all the good stuff out the way, right? It's all out of the way. Y'all know what it's time for, bro. It's time for the intro. This chapter starts off very somber. We see tears fall to the floor as Fu lies there saying, I never want to take responsibility again. That's why I live my life only according to someone else's order, because that way the responsibility belongs to someone else and I don't get hurt. Dog. What happened to my boy, man? Somebody must have made Fu do some shit that spawned like a very serious situation that broke him. Somebody had to have done some, bro. They must have really hurt Fu in order for him to create this personality inside himself, right? This other persona, which is not really a persona. We'll get into that a little bit later. And hopefully we get an explanation about that from he or hi. And it also seems like he's transformed like this before because Jabber already knows who he is. The question is when and where was this? And I'm interested to know who he fought because nine times out of 10, they more than likely didn't survive. I wonder if that is what happened, right? I wonder if that is the reason for the pact between those two. The artwork this chapter was insane, man. Demonstrating the drastic differences between Fu and He or Hai. I'll keep saying that until I get corrected. Not only personality-wise, but visually as well. Showing us just how deranged he can be when it comes to battle. What was so crazy about this is Jabber really thought He was telling a story, right? Making light of Fu and He. Come to find out, it was a pact between the two of them. When Fu doesn't have anyone to order him around, or when he's gonna go whoop ass, right? Whoop some ass, they trade bodies. So I'm not sure if anyone else was wondering the same thing, but is Fu ass in that little doll, bro? That would be so sick. Not sure why, but for some reason, I just wanna see him talk so I can laugh. Anyway, I like this because it seemed like Fu and he are 100% on our side from here on out because he said that we got our orders from the cleaners. We'll be giving them a hand. Even Kathoni was unsure of what to do here. But remember what I said earlier about Zodil having a plan up his sleep? He tells her that since her powers don't work in the light and we are going into a tunnel that is dark, she could pretty much TP them out of there or TP them and Kuro out of there. That's what I'm assuming is gonna happen because at this point they can probably attempt to gain Kuro's favor or try to manipulate him if it comes down to it. It makes me uncomfortable because I have faith in Kuro, right? Because I know he has to have a countermeasure for this just as he did for Momoa's ability. But will Zodil have a counter for Kuro's counter? Bro, it's a lot of stuff going on here, man. It's, it's, it's mind games, it's a chess match, the high speed chess match, that's all I can really say. Bro, he goes absolutely ballistic this chapter. 
broke Jabber's arm with ease and fucking one shot his ass. That's what was the craziest part to me, bro. It looked like a combo straight out of a fighting game. I couldn't believe how badass that shit looked. What we also learned here is that it wasn't just the doll that was the jinky. It was seemingly like Fu's entire body. Almost similar to Guida. Almost similar to Guida in a way where she becomes a big ass kaiju. This dude becomes a fucking monster once they trade places. And man, it was a sight to behold. And when you know it, we end up making it out of one tunnel, but not before Jabber utters the last words, right? His last words. Cheers to treachery almost as if he has betrayed somebody before, but that looks like a sign of things to come. Isn't it interesting how this has all been about people switching sides and switching personalities? Hmm, seems like Tomzy was just a hint of what was to come, or maybe this is a hint for what Tomzy is gonna do. I can't wait till we have to open that can of worms, bro. But anyways, I digress. So now with all of that out the way, we have to take into account what is gonna happen here. The Raiders had the lead on us, being insanely close to Kuro. And with Kathoni being there, the plan on their end is more than likely to TP out of there along with Kuro so they can extract the information from him. But I also wonder if Zodil didn't hear the conversation between Kuro and Momoa, or was him grabbing her hand transmitting those thoughts to her? I don't know, but we should be ready for anything come next chapter because it's sink or swim. Like I said, man, I'm pretty sure Kuro has some failsafe in order, right? Has some failsafe in order because there's no way he wouldn't know all about Momoa, but not Kathoni and let alone Zodu. Yo, would this be sick if the angels were lying in wait in that second tunnel? Or he just like magically turns on the lights in the tunnel so Kathoni's abilities don't work? Y'all don't understand how excited I am for everything that is about to transpire. I'm so glad I'm caught up now. It's been the most stressful first half of the year that I've pretty much ever experienced. And I'm just glad I have y'all with me. Thank y'all for remaining patient. Thank y'all for continuing to support me, even when it seems like I'm not here. Glad to be back in the swing of things too. Feels good. Anyway, if there was something that I missed in this chapter that you wish I would've covered, make sure y'all let me know in the comment section below, as y'all usually do, man. Leave a like if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new. Gonna try my ass off, bro, to get these out as soon as possible. We are so close to chapter 100, bro, and it's insane. Not to mention, we got the sick ass cover reveal of volume 11, which looks sick. It looks so sick. Sent me in a nut blasting orbit, by the way. I was wondering if it was gonna be Rudo or somebody else, but to be honest, I'm glad it ended up being Rudo because this means that based on what we've seen from food today, he might be volume 12, right? I do hope that is the case, right? I do hope that is the case. Hopefully we get not only the cover page for chapter 100, but I also hope we get a cool ass color page for chapter 100 as well, man. Celebrating the release of not only volume 11, but also getting to chapter 100. Anyway, let me get out of here and get to editing these videos. As always, it's your boy, Damo Senpai, and I will catch you guys in the next video.